Today, Precarious plays Pokemon Coliseum. I'm gonna explore some of this dead end over here. It's really, really nice. Ooh. I had no idea that was down there. It was a really good surprise. You didn't go to the left yet, did you? I don't think so. Up into the left, I mean? Um. Well, that way, now. left. Ooh, this is some. Oh! Oh, there's a. There's a. This engineer has been doing a shit job, so there's a <laughs> leaky ceiling. <laughs> it really does look like a leak. It really does. DNA Ew. sample. Okay. No, that's all it had. We found one of those before. Okay. At least once. There's a button on this. Oh, these are the shadow Pokemon cells. <gasps> oh, that's so... Well, they're kind of spacious and pretty clean. They just don't look very soft. Yeah. Hey, friend. Well, good job. It's really clean. Oh. Sure. Yeah, I want one. Oh. Okay. Mm. Well, he seemed like maybe just like a, a civilian. He got hired. <laughs> yeah. He's a temp. He doesn't know. Like, they seemed a little aggressive, but I mean, Can other I than the, the fiery purple aura, they yeah. seemed fine. What? Gotta, gotta pay the bills. Does this look openable? No, I think that there's an elevator up there. You can barely see it on the, on the, yeah, on the top of the screen. Right. Um, I guess that means that we can't exactly blow the facility up, huh? I mean, we could rely on the idea that this evil organization um, has a really good fire escape plan <laughs> and uh, a disaster strategy. Oh, hi. We'll put a we'll put a timer on it and be like, <laughs> attention, attention. Uh, shit's about to go boom. You should probably leave. Yep. Don't you salvage any of those. Oh, Rhyhorn. I actually really like Rhyhorn. I just like how he looks. I have no context of whether or not he is a good Pokemon that is good at Pokemanzing. He's not. Oh, he's not? He no. He just looks cool. Do we get to keep yeah. him? Oh, no. <laughs> he's getting a weird twitchy ears on the butt spider. Ears on the butt. That's, that's what it is. And it's not even a proper spider. It doesn't have enough legs. See, the problem with Rhyhorn is that it isn't evolved. Mm hmm. It hasn't reached its final form. Mm hmm. And it is a water. Or, I'm sorry. It is a round rock Pokemon. So, <clears throat> Low Cook should be good against it? Yes. And, um. That is just a, a tragic typing to have. Mm -hmm. Ground rock. It's very common. It's a very common pairing. And it sucks being a ground rock Pokemon because that means you are four times weak to two different types. Ugh. And historically, ground rock Pokemon usually had really high defense, but low special defense. Mm -hmm. Basically, in the first mm -hmm. generation of Pokemon, like two out of three of the starter would wreck any ground rock Pokemon. Squirtle or Bulbasaur would trash them. So you just learn early in the game. Just foundational information. It's like, oh, I can beat up an Onix or a Rhyhorn or a Rhydon or a, 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 a Geodude or any of its evolutions with my starter. Can I use Shadow Rush on Arados? I'm afraid to hurt him. Stantler's very tough, man. I would not. I would use someone else to try to beat up Ariados. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and throw a lucky Pokeball out there, see if it happens for me. Uh, make that magic happen, Cap'n. Okay, and should I just switch Sudowoodoo at this point? You could use Low Kick on Rhyhorn again. I think it would knock it out. But he's buried. Oh, yeah, probably. You should switch um, to maybe like... Um... What the hell, man? I leave you alone to go blow my nose for like two minutes. Why did you get rid of... of... Uh, of... Uh, um, 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 um... No, no, no. Aria something. I'm real sick, man. 
Help me. What's its name now? It's I not don't Swablu. Remember Altaria. Altaria. Why did you get rid of Altaria? I said like we. That's one we gotta keep because it's really good and it's really good. It's well, a dragon. Why did you get rid of the dragon? Do you want to know the answer? Or do you want to hear your voices more? I want to complain for another five minutes okay. in this episode and then take a nap. Okay. So what do I do? Restart the game no! and keep Altaria. Pillow swine? Oh. Swillow pine? Goodness. Fortress? Put Fortress out and just shadow rush. No, wait, that's a bad plan because it's Fortress steel is strong. Okay, so do Fortress. Yeah. Yeah, you should do Fortress. Instead of Sudowoodoo? Yes. Okay. Because the thing I'm worried about is the dig damage and it should just deal regular damage to Fortress because the bug resists and the steel is weak. Well, what I'm worried about is being able to hit a Rados without hurting him so much that he splats. I don't think that Fortress has killer attack power, so I think it should be able to shadow rush. Like once and do what we needed to do. A couple of times, yeah, probably. I yeah, see. that's what I yeah, like to see. Yeah, it's tough. Wing? Wing? Okay. I want. I know that we're not nicknaming these, but could we maybe nickname Fortress Mother Base? <laughs> no. Oh man. Because there's only one of all of them. And I guess this one's a boy. Yeah. So we could name him. We could name him Outer Heaven. <laughs> Speaking of <laughs> speaking of dogs pooping until they vomit, or vice versa. Which we were speaking about yeah. before this episode. We were recalling a, a shared... Puppies. Car sick puppies. Car sick puppies. A road trip experience. Mm -hmm. so speaking of puppies vomiting until they poop. Or I'm sorry, drooling until they vomit until they poop. Yeah. I have to get the, the chain of causality right. Um, the dog survived. Oh yeah, it was just <laughs> it was just a nervous puppy that wasn't yet familiar with road trips. Mm -hmm. um, Nintendo dogs. <laughs> <laughs> Nintendo dogs, yeah. Where you don't have to worry about any of that literal crap. Well, you don't have to worry about any of that vomit and only a tiny bit of poopy, I think. Mm -hmm. A hobbyist simulation level of poopies. So what made you bring up Nintendogs? What were we... I thought for sure in my ute whenever the game came out uh -huh. that Nintendogs was a test bed for a future Pokemon title. Oh, that would be so cool. I still don't know why after all of this time there hasn't been a Pokemon... game, a Pokemon, or a, a Nintendogs styled game, where instead of having different breeds of dogs, you just have, you know, like a couple dozen Pokemon. Yeah. Like the popular ones. Like I... you'd get some of the, one of the sets of starters, probably like one of the old sets, and then the ones from the newest generation, and then you would have a couple of the easy ones, which would be like dogs, mm -hmm. like Growlithe, for example, you would get a Growlithe. Um, as a possible Pokemon, and then they would throw in a few weird ones, and then like one of the smaller legendaries, like Chirachi or Celebi, yeah. and boom, that's the game. That sounds really great, but I don't think that they could possibly make enough Pokemon fans happy by using such a small selection of Pokemon. Like, a couple dozen probably wouldn't be enough. I don't think that's the case. I, think I mean, that... this might be an example to the contrary of that. Right? Like, we are playing something with a few dozen Pokemon. I think that it would come down to marketing, mm -hmm. mainly. I think they would have to make it clear. Like, they would have to really push hard in the marketing, like, iconic favorites. Yeah. The like, good. Your favorite Pokemon are now your friend pets. Right. Play with your favorite Pokemon. Favorite. Favorites. No, not your favorite Pokemon, Joe. <laughs> like, the... the, mm -hmm. the the collective you. Mm -hmm. Collective. We have 
Look, motherfuckers. <laughs> we have data on We this. have data. We've got merchandise. We know who your favorites are. Like 80% of you. 80% of you love Mudkip. Shut up about it, okay? Plus, Nintendo likes money. They could just release packs of new Pokemon forever. They could do that now. Yeah. That would... I think that would be right up their alley. They were really slow to adopt DLC and expansion packs and things. Yeah. Well... I'm actually a little I mean, sad to see that they are because, like, the first one that I think of... Well, actually, the first one I think of I think was fine, and it was um, Mario Kart. Yeah. They added, like, DLC to have the, the villager from Animal Crossing included and Link. Uh, the second one I thought of was... Um, Antidote does away with poison damage, right? Yes. Antidotes. Develop to cure poison. More at four. Yes. Is he gonna survive? Oh, maybe. Yeah, I think he should survive because... Yeah. Rhyhorn is... His Rhyhorn situation is going out of control. Why is mm -hmm. it still up? Why have well, you knocked it out? I've been paying attention to my, my own stupid bullshit. Aredos woke up and has been doing damage, so I've been having to heal through it because I really need Stantler, and Stantler is the one that's getting beat up because, oh. of course, I left Swablu at home, which is the other one that has the sleep move, etc., etc. Not a Swablu anymore. Altaria, but Swablu is a cuter name. That is true. You could nickname it Swablu. <laughs> I might. <laughs> I don't know what I want. I should... He's asleep now. I should use Stantler. Stantler is tougher than for Fortress, so I'm gonna use Stantler to attack. No, I'm not. Fun, fun cultural <clears throat> observation. Yeah. I always thought it was weird that you, especially in like the anime, mm -hmm. you would have these friends. You would have these Pokemon friends that after a certain point, after they evolved, like, Ash would call them something different, yeah. you know? Like, he would be like, best friend Charmander. Now that you've evolved into Charmeleon, your name is Charmeleon. I will call you Charmeleon. Uh-huh. And thinking about that, it seems crazy. Like, if you're... Just because your friend graduates from college, you, you don't, don't give them a new name. Yeah, because nobody's going to be like, hello, doctor friend. I You're, see you got your doctorate. I am now going to call you Doctor Friend forever. Well, I know actually that that that's a counterpoint. I think using someone's title as part of their name mm -hmm. that's different. I'm saying like just because you got a degree, your name doesn't go from being Dave to Daniel. Yeah. Right. Or Dave Iaplume. Yeah, or Dave Iaplume. <laughs> or Dave Mander. If your name is Davish, if you're like just a little bit Dave and then you get your degree in Daving, you don't become Doom. I don't remember the middle Pokemon. You don't become Doom, Dr. Doom, Doctor of Daving. I can't concentrate right now because this idea of renaming your friends based on their degrees is very funny to me. But and I'm now doing it in my head. I believe in Sengoku era Japan, that is something you would do. I think it might have been, yeah. I believe that the way it worked is there are a ton of historical figures. They start with wildly different names to the ones that they, they they're most the, yeah that they are most historically well known by. Like, I do not believe, for example, uh, Hideyoshi that, uh, oh, I can't remember his, his, um, his, the, the name, the other name, to, Totoyomi? I think it's Totoyomi Hideyoshi. Mm -hmm. That was, like, not his name when he was born. He was born Joe Lame Pants. Yes, Joe Lame Pants, <laughs> and he became a sandal bearer, and then eventually... This fight is dragging out forever. Let's talk about this. Let's do this. Let's fix this. Let's finish this. Okay. Switch Dantler out for okay. literally almost any other thing you have on you. Suicune. 
Yes. Okay, and then Fortress needs to throw a No. It's not asleep and it's not that wounded. Oh wait, Rhyhorn! Rhyhorn is like up out from under the ground now. You need to just try to, I guess, shadow ref Rhyhorn. Yeah, when he's not buried. And we'll see if Fortress can get there first. Mm -hmm. Do it, Fortress. Oh, Dang. so, so close. Ew. That is such a nasty move. It flips up on its back and then goes poot. And Rhyhorn is back under the ground. Okay. That's probably just Ariados' animation for any sort of projectile attack. Yeah. Ooh. I see. I see what you mean now. You should use Suicune's turn to heal Stantler. Yeah. That way we can put him back to sleep. Yeah. Not Stantler. See, like, I keep getting into this position where I'm like, skip. <laughs> How many more antidotes do you have? I think like five. Okay. I believe that's the cheapest one, so I tend to buy those. In addition to being like the cheapest one to purchase, it is one of the more common status ailments. Mm -hmm. So I usually buy those at a ratio of like two or three to one compared to stuff like Paralyze heals. Yeah. Rhyhorn is up out of the ground. Goodness, and now Suicune's all messed up. See, like this poison crap is just garbage. Hmm. I recommend using, yeah, eliminate on Suicune, and yeah. then just using Fortress to finally knock out Rhyhorn. Yeah, I will. And we can see what fresh hell is hiding hiding behind it. Maybe the fresh hell is just like a weenie baby fresh. Gyarados, attack! <laughs> Actually. Ravile? Yeah, that's the middle form of a starter Pokemon. That's, that's not small. Yeah. You I'm should... Sick again? You should switch out Suicune because... Uh, Garvile is a grass Pokemon. Stantler. <sighs> Jeez. Oh, I didn't notice the grass weakness. Pillow Swine. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's the one. Pillow Swine. Okay. And Fortress should actually focus on Grovile. Yep. Yep. <sighs> I think that, um... A couple dozen Pokemon would be fine if they were well chosen. One thing to keep in mind is it should be really apparent. Like, you'd always have, like, children or, frankly, being brutally honest, people that have a childlike appreciation or analysis of, like, the entertainment that they're consuming. Mm -hmm. Like, they, they just they don't care about the actual, like, production or development. Yeah. By thinking about what that actually looks like. Yeah. Ooh, that might not be great. You just have them both. Shadow Rush for a while. Okay, because it healed so much, that should be fine. I was worried that it, they were going to... Accidentally overflow damage our friend, our future friend. Hey, future friend. Exactly. He's Weiss right now, but it's okay. We'll get her. We'll get bestest her someday. Buddies. They're bestest buddies. Yes. There's no doubt. Um. Well, that's not a problem anymore, but that's also not a problem for them anymore. No, so this is this is actually to our advantage because now we can put out Stantler right. without using a turn, and then put the guy to sleep, and then have the other guy throw Pokeballs. Thank you for your service, for this line. Um. It should be really. Obvious, like in a, a Nintendog style environment, why you none of the Pokemon are evolved. Yeah. Like why they are all like baby Pokemon or first, the first of their family. Mm -hmm. um, 
and why none of them are very big. It's because you are in like a domestic environment and you have to, they all have to fit within like this same, like a very, they have to have a, a similar profile, you know? Oh, they could brand it Poke Babies and then they could have all the cute ones like Togepi and is, doesn't Pikachu have a baby? Yeah, Pichu, but they would Pichu. probably, they would, I imagine that they would put Pikachu in before Pichu. Yeah. Maybe that would be one of the exceptions where they like did two of the same family. Mm-hmm. Um, and just because it would be so easy to reuse animations, yeah. they would probably also have Plusle and Minum. Yeah. And that's like four Pokemon right there. And then everybody would be like, but why, if you guys did four different editions of Poison, oh. if you did four different editions of Pikachu, you need to go back and heal right away. Are you going the, the right direction? I am not sure now. Okay, then we're gonna stop right now and get that sorted out and come back later. Because screw this place! These fucking warehouse hallways all look the same. Racist? Spacist, <laughs> more like. <laughs> <laughs> oh.